हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द मीनिंग ऑफ डेडलॉक सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेडलॉक देन वी विल सी सम एग्जांपल हाउ डेडलॉक ऑकर्स देन वी विल सी सम नेसेसरी कंडीशन फॉर द डेडलॉक एंड फर्दर वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दैट फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म्स टी वन इज द ट्रांजेक्शन वन टी टू इज ट्रांजेक्शन टू लॉक एक्स मीन्स एक्सक्लूसिव लॉक सो एक्स मीन्स द एक्सक्लूसिव so log x of y y means the resource of y and resource x simple now let's understand the basic meaning see transaction t1 has log on x resource transaction 2 has log on y resource now transaction 1 is waiting for transaction 2 to release the y resource so that transaction 1 can acquire that similarly t2 is waiting for transaction 1 so that it can release x resource and t2 can acquire that resource so t1 is waiting for t2 and t2 is waiting for t1 so this is the deadlock situation so definition says a system is said to be in deadlock if there exists a set of transaction such that every transaction in the set is waiting for another transaction all right to complete its execution so t1 is waiting for t2 similarly t2 is waiting for t1 for its execution so this is the definition of deadlock now the second point is example you can see we have transaction t1 and transaction t2 in transaction t1 we have first set log x on resource x read x write x so basically on the x resource we are reading and we are writing similarly in transaction 2 log x y read y write y on y resource we are reading and we are writing now the problem is here you can see log y is not released so here transaction 1 is waiting for transaction 2 to release lock to release lock on the resource y similarly here you can see that transaction 2 is waiting for transaction t1 to release lock on the resource x so this is a deadlock now the third point is necessary condition you can see that we have four necessary condition first is hold and wait second we have is mutual exclusion third is no preemption and fourth is circular wait so let's understand it point by point so the first point is hold and wait now what does it mean like t1 has held the resource x and t2 holds the resource y now t1 is waiting for the resource y which is held by the transaction t2 similarly t2 is waiting for the resource x now x is with t1 now if this condition occurs then we are in deadlock so first is hold and wait second is mutual exclusion now it is also very simple this says that when transaction has a non shareable lock which which means non shareable lock is similar to non shareable lock is similar to lock x that means the exclusive lock okay so when transaction has non shareable lock and other transaction request for it then it is said to be mutual exclusion so the second point is that so this is the second point when transaction t1 has lock x but t2 request for the resource which is held by transaction so when this condition occurs it is called mutual exclusion now the third point is no preemption no preemption is also very simple see no preemption means preemption says that preemption says if your work is completed then please pass the resource that means please release the lock no preemption means t1 has completed whatever the transaction was there but it still holds the resource x now the problem here is it still holds means there is no preemption preemption means if you are done with your transaction please release the lock no preemption means you are done with transaction but still you are holding the lock so this is a problem so when it occurs no preemption this means we are again in the deadlock condition now the fourth point is circular wait circular wait means t1 is waiting for t2 t2 is waiting for t1 circular means it is a cycle of a wait suppose i have one more transaction let's say t3 now if t1 waits for t2 t2 waits for t3 and t3 waits for t1 you can see one cycle if if you see any cycle this means that we are in circular wait and this is a deadlock condition now the solution for the deadlock is either we can prevent the deadlock now if suppose deadlock has happened so what we can do is we can detect the deadlock and we can recover from it 
so there are two types of solution for the deadlock first we can prevent the deadlock second if deadlock has happened then we have to detect it and further we have to solve the deadlock तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट